All right, let's go and create some merch for our brand. I have Photoshop open. This is the file we have. We have the hat and then two shirts. We're gonna start off with the hat. So I'm gonna go to Illustrator, as this is where I have my design, where you have your design as well. I'm just gonna copy it and paste it here as a smart object. Click OK and I have my design. I'm gonna decrease the size. By the way, one thing about Photoshop is when you grab it from the corner, you don't have to press Shift here which is the opposite of Illustrator. So just so you know that if you select Shift or you click on Shift on your keyboard, you're able to do this, which is kind of not what we're used to, right? We're used to clicking on Shift and then it works to scale, but not in Photoshop. In Photoshop, you do not need to type Shift on your keyboard. Let's zoom in. Okay, the hat is not that difficult to do because it's on white. And the only issue is that he's on a little bit of an angle. Looks like he's facing a little bit too. What is that? His left, not too much to do. I'm gonna align my design here. Try to center it so that's kind of where it's gonna be. And I'm just gonna grab my rotate tool. Just rotate it just a bit. It'll get blurry, but that's fine. It's just Photoshop trying to get all the edges correct. Okay, so, I mean, it doesn't even look bad right now. I'm gonna go back to multiply, even though we're not gonna be able to see much of the texture behind it, because once you zoom out, you know, it kind of loses the texture, but we can still just do multiply and we can recenter it. Control T, so I get my transform tools. Um, I might have to, let me see, yep, okay. So I have to do one more step before I do that. So once again, selecting that layer, uh, let's convert it to a smart object. Control T, right click, and I'm gonna do a little bit of perspective, just a tiny bit, just because it seems that this is a little bit, you know, since he's turned around a little bit, just a tiny bit, not too much at all. Let's see what that looks like. The reason for that one step where I just distorted it just a little bit was because since this is further away, just because he's turned around, then this would be a little bit smaller than this side, the one that we're looking at. So, okay, so I just zoomed out and I just started moving it just a bit because I didn't like how it was centered on the hat. So make sure that you zoom in and then zoom out so that you can see if your design is correctly aligned. And if not, just make changes. Remember, select the layer. And if you don't get the box around it, just go to Control T and then you get the bounding box where you can move. Okay, so I've noticed that some of you have some design here on the lid of the hat, but then you have his hand in the way, and that's a very simple fix. So let's just say, and of course this is just for this example, but let's say I have this rectangle here, right? And for you it's gonna be a design that actually looks like a design on the, on the hat. Okay, so you have this design here, let's just say this is on your hat, and you have this hand in the way. Okay, so it's very simple to make it look, make it seem like the design is underneath his hand. I'm gonna hide it just for now. Here is my original photo, and I'm gonna duplicate it. So I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna bring it down here to the plus sign, and it's gonna make another one. See, it says copy. I'm bringing this up here to the very top. Now, when I unhide the rectangle, it's not gonna show up, and my design is gone. Why? because this design or this photo is on top of everything else. So remember, we just duplicated the entire photo and then we placed it on top of everything. So it's covering everything. So what we need to do is to, we need to get rid of his fingers on the first picture, the one that's at the top now. So for that, I'm gonna go to pen tool and I'm gonna make sure it's on path and zooming in, of course you're gonna do this a lot better than I'm gonna do it because I'm just just showing you as far as an example. So I'm just drawing around his, his hand, his fingers. It doesn't matter up here. Click on selection. This doesn't matter, click okay. Zooming, I notice how it's selected and now I'm gonna make this a mask. Click down here and look at that. The design is underneath it. Now, of course, remember, that's gonna look a lot more realistic if you zoom in and you really take time to trace around it. By the way, another thing you can do, if you don't like how this is looking at the moment, then here on your mask, double click it, and it's gonna bring up this window. 
And here's where you can really, really get specific about things. So I'm going to click on this one, my brush tool, decrease the size on plus. You're able to draw or brush it. And I'm going to zoom in even more. And it's on plus, so I'm adding to the mask. And notice I'm just painting over it, and it's going to keep adding more and more to it. If I make a mistake, let's say I'm doing this part here and I accidentally go down here, then I just go back to minus and make sure I fix it. And you can get as detailed as you want. Let's click OK. OK, so if I didn't like this, I would go back, double click here and fix this just a little bit. So go ahead and do that if you have it in design on your hat. OK, let's talk about the shirts now. Very simple steps. I'm going to go and select the layer at the bottom. My first layer above the background, which is this photo. Before we import our design, let's select it with this selection tool, the quick selection tool right here. This one's pretty neat because if you click on any shape, it'll try to recognize that shape. And hopefully it does a good job of selecting it. So for me, it did it. By the way, it's right here. Quick selection tool. Perfect. On your keyboard, control J. And it made a new layer. And this is what I'm going to hide all of these just so you can see what this new layer is. Look at that. It's just the shirt. So hiding everything, everything must be hidden on this one. Go and save it. That's right, save it. Save it on your H drive and call this just for purposes of the example. Let's call it Displace Guy Shirt. You can name it anything you want. Just make sure you know what you named it. Click Save, click OK. Now let's go ahead and bring everything back. And we are going to delete the shirt layer. This one, select it, delete it. I know, seems like we did it for nothing, but no, in fact, it's going to come into place here in just a little bit. Go back to Illustrator. Let's bring in our design. Copy, paste it. Click OK. Resize it. Bring it up here. Zoom in. All right. I like where this is at. Right there. Select the layer. Make sure that the design layer is selected. Go to Filter. Distort. Displace. Click OK. Find that file you saved that Displace shirt on. Click Open. Go to multiply. Okay. Also, I've noticed that it's a little bit too distorted. It's just too much folded. And my design doesn't look the way I wanted it to. So let's go here to my layers panel. Here's my object. Here's my design. And here where it says displace, I'm going to double click it again. And I'm going to change the horizontal scale and vertical scale to a five. I'm going to click OK. I have to do the same step again, displace guy shirt. And OK, that is way better. 10 was way too much. So I'm happy with that now. I can see the shadows in the back, but I can also see a little bit of folding here happening. So that's exactly what I wanted. That's perfect. OK, let's do the one for the girl. 